Yeah, so firstly, I mean, just because you raise a lot of money doesn't mean you should spend it. And this is a very, very important point, okay? Uh, we, are, we, are, uh, we, are, we are in a market that the world has never seen before in terms of how hot it is, in terms of the kind of valuations, in terms of the funding cycles. I just went through all these numbers right at the beginning of this call. Right. So keep, keep in mind that it's going to change. And when it changes, it, it changes for a period of time, by the way, right? Markets don't, these cycles, they last, the boom will last for a long time. And when you go into the next phase of the cycle, that will also last for a long time. Okay, because these things don't correct like immediately, right? Uh, they don't correct either way, either way immediately, right? The boom cycles tend to last for a long time and then the other way also tends to last for a long time. So I think the most important thing is just because you raise a lot of money should, doesn't mean you should spend a lot of money, right? Look, at the end of the day, you have to grow prudently, right? So what do I mean by that, right? Look, so for instance, right, you, you, know, let, you know, first make sure that your retention is very, very strong, right? Uh, second, make sure your LTV to CAC on marketing is very powerful. Right. So if your LTV to CAC is 0.5, what do you think? You should not be like spending on marketing. Right. <laughs> right. If your LTV to CAC is like 10 is to 1, yeah, you should like double down on marketing. Right. Um, uh, third, just make sure that your team is scaled up to be able to handle the additional growth. Right. Like customer success, it's always under invested in. Right. So what happens? You get a lot of customers and then, you know, on the B2B side, right. And then you can't really maintain it. Right. Um, uh, make sure that, like, for instance, like what's your NPS? Right. If your NPS is, you know, average or poor, you know, you should probably not be fueling more marketing to drive faster growth. First, get your NPS improved, right? Retention. Co just look at your retention cohorts and, and that will, like, I would do three things. I would look at a retention cohort, look at what that looks like, right? Does that paint a very good picture that I have strong PMF that I can really step on the pedal on marketing gas? Second thing is look at my LTV to CAC, right? Understand, like, what the LTV to CAC looks like. Third thing is I would look at NPS, even outside of the retention cohorts usually gives a pretty good sense of that. But I would look at NPS, right, and measure NPS and understand, you know, like how do, like, especially if you're a B2C business, right, uh, you know, what do what do consumers really think, right? And and if your NPS is below average, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, and the last thing is look at your team and say, if you're, let's say, growing at, let's just say, okay, you're growing at 100% year on year, which, you know, you should be, right? Every company should be growing at 100% year on year once you find PMF. If you're not growing at 100%, you know, you're on your and you're a very early stage company. That's not that interesting, right? Um, right. Um, then you've got to ask yourself, do you have the team in place and the capability, right? Things like onboarding, right? Uh, in place to be able to grow much, much faster. Because the reality is, if you're going to take your growth rate from 100% year on year to 200% year on year, you're going to have to have a team that is 2x more scalable, right? I don't mean right. 2x more people. I mean, they need to yeah. know how to scale and you need to have some of these enabling Processes, right? I see this a lot in B two B companies, Uncle. Right? They'll just hire a whole bunch of salespeople, yeah, yeah. but they have no sales onboarding process in place. So as a result, guess oh. what? Most of these salespeople start missing quota. Then they leave because you know salespeople have hired right. them plans, right? If they don't make quota, which means they're not making fifty percent of their money, which means you know they're going to keep doing this forever, right? So they will leave, or you know the team will actually say, look, this is not working. They will actually uh, you know try to get new people in. So That's so you've got to look at all of these things. Right before you really step on the pedal and say, I'm going to grow much faster. Probably the last thing I'll say is, look, there's a fallacy, especially I don't know how many of your uh, audience is sort of SaaS companies, right? There's a fallacy in SaaS, especially revenue first SaaS, because there's also distribution first SaaS, right? That if you're at, let's say, a million dollars of revenue, ARR, right? Uh, that if you can grow at 100%, that's good. I have news for you. That's not good. Okay. The best company in our current search cohort that just wrapped up will go from 1 million ARR to 10 million ARR in 12 months in our region. Okay, I'm not talking about a company that's based in the US, awesome. not in the US market. Okay, so, so, you know, if you're at 1 million, you know, you should try to go for at least 3 million, maybe 4 million next year, right? So, so 3x, right? And there's the, the T2, D3 framework, which I love. But I think we're going to invent our own framework, which is probably going to be 10, you know, T10. Once you hit 1 million, can you get to 10 million, right? I mean, that's sort of the, but to do that, by the way, you need to have very, very strong PMF. And you yep. need to have a killer leadership team that knows how to scale, right? Uh, you want to have incredible onboarding processes. You want to know exactly the kind of salespeople you want to hire. You want to have your marketing demand gen sorted, right? You got to make sure that your uh, retention and all that is working because you know your NR. The only way you go from, let's say, in SaaS, uh, Ankur, uh, if you want to go from a million ARR to ten million ARR in one year, the only way you can do that if your NRR is very, very high. Right. Your sure. net revenue retention has to be, you know, 130, 140. Right. And by the way, that requires retention. Right. Customer, upsell, you, know, low, you know, low churn, all this kind of stuff. And because, you know, churn kills companies.